If this is true, then it sucks. What's up guys, Andrew here on my channel Gear Inc. where I get to share what I'm passionate about with you. And on my channel it's PC Tech, Games and Gear. If you haven't already, remember to enter the $100 giveaway for an Amazon or Newegg gift card if you win, it's your choice. That giveaway is going on until the 20th. We will announce the winner on uh, Instagram and Twitter and you can enter it by clicking on the video link in the description down below. So, as far as the tech news today is guys, uh, you know, I don't really do tech news per se videos like where I kind of, you know, there are a lot of channels that do like all the tech news of the day and kind of put it in there, but they have teams to go through all that stuff I don't it's just me so when I talk about these things or things that I find particularly interesting and there's two things that came out recently that I do want to talk about related to graphics cards so the first one is for Vega 2 now supposedly there are only going to be 5,000 units available at launch. This is very disconcerting and I hope it's not true, but if it is, that's gonna suck for everyone who's been waiting for a Vega 2 basically or anything from AMD to come out. This card is supposedly gonna be competing directly with the RTX 2080, but it does not have DLSS or ray tracing and supposedly it's gonna launch for 739 euro, which would make it obviously way over the uh, USD price of what they said it was gonna release for. So that's also something to be concerned about if it's true and then like in countries like Europe and Spain supposedly they're only getting like 20 per country to release I uh, I don't know if I believe it necessarily but again if this holds any grain of truth it makes a little bit of sense because I understand that the 7 nanometer um, manufacturing process there's not a lot of places that can do that yet on top of that Vega 2 to me felt like something that was kind of slapped together it didn't feel like they were planning it out uh, maybe they didn't have anything planned and they just kind of had to get something out which is why for the GPU it feels like it's more cut down like a cut down version of one of their higher end production I don't know, we're just gonna have to wait and see. Now the other thing I saw is as disconcerting to me, which is about the 1660 Ti. So supposedly this thing is gonna be dropping on the 15th of February, so just in like a week. On top of that, we get some specs for this thing um, to be more solidified. Again, this is rumor, we don't know 100% if this is true or not, but uh, the card is supposedly have been showing up in Russian retail, and one of the things that's disconcerting is the cost. So on it, it's listed for the cut down single fan version at 26,700 ruples, um, which would put it over 400 USD. This is even for the twin fan setup. Now, if this is true, it ties in directly into my conspiracy theory that I don't think Nvidia is releasing this thing as a uh, value option. I literally think they're releasing it as a way to, for people to buy at least the RTX 2060 because you're gonna look at these two cards and let's assume, I don't know if it's gonna be $400 or not, that seems really high, but let's assume it's like 300, which I said in my other video. If you have a three $300 graphics card that doesn't have ray tracing or DLSS and for $50 more you can get an RTX 2060 that not only performs better in traditional rasterization but has those extra features why would you spend any money on the 1660 Ti I literally think this lineup is to push people into RTX territory that's just my personal opinion so guys I hope neither of these uh, rumors are true we're gonna obviously know here in a week or two if the 1660 Ti is coming out Vega 2 numbers should be coming out any day and so it's going to be interesting to see if any of this holds any grain of truth to it but as always i hope you enjoy these videos this is just kind of a quick one on some tech stuff going on related to grax cards which i found very interesting um if you like this video you can go ahead and leave me a thumbs up if not go ahead and leave me a thumbs down remember to get subscribed and hit the bell icon so you can know when these videos drop because youtube's algorithm sucks on top of that thanks to everyone who supports me through patreon or who's a twitch subscriber remember if you support me through either of those mediums you get access to our discord um, we have a supporter discord as well and the discord is actually open to everybody so if you want to join it absolutely you can it's in the link but we have just like a supporter chat to set up for people who do that and then I put your name at the end of my videos as a way to say thanks thanks to everyone who uses my Amazon affiliate link or my new egg link when you're purchasing parts because that helps me as well as I'm completely self-funded as always I'm gonna continue to make these videos whether you watch them or not but I hope you do and I hope to see every single one of you next time here on gear Dink. it's like Groundhog Day for graphics card news it's just bad news